Hi ladies, this is Milan of Sinatural Wellness. In today's video, we're going to be talking about love yourself, self-love tips for the woman over 50. So if you haven't had an opportunity to subscribe to this channel, then click on the subscribe button right now and make sure you also click the little bell because that way, when I produce a new video, you'll get an update that I'm sending them out to you. I'm so glad to have you join me today. So let's get started. Back in the 1970s, there was a song, um, a beautiful song. Love in you as easy cause you're beautiful. Da, 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 da. Ah. And that song, it talks about loving you, but it's loving someone else. Wasn't it beautiful? Not me saying it, but wasn't it a beautiful song? Now what if we took those same exact words and turned them around instead of loving you? Loving you is easy cause I'm beautiful and turned it on yourself. So it's so easy to make a fuss over other people, whether it be our spouse, whether our partner, our children, our parents, our work, career. We make such a fuss over everything else and everybody else that when it comes to loving yourself, giving yourself love, that we tend to allow ourselves to fall by the wayside. Well, what about you? Have you been taking care of yourself? Have you been showing yourself love? Have you been scheduling yourself in your own calendar, making time for you? We fill our calendars up with so many to-do lists and where to go. And more than likely, you have a calendar of a schedule of things that you need to get done. But we also forget to schedule ourselves in that to-do list. And we only have 1,440 minutes in a day. Right now, we're in quarantine. And it seems as if there's a lot of time. And it... Some days I wake up and like, oh, I have the whole day. You may be thinking when you wake up, I have the whole day to do something. But then close to five, six o'clock, your day has just got away from you. So we have 1,440 minutes in a day. How are you using them? In this video, I'm going to share with you how to love your, how to love yourself and also some practical measures that you can take to give yourself self-love 30 minutes a day because remember like I said we have 1,440 minutes a day so even if you only use 30 of those minutes you still have 1,400 minutes 410 minutes left so there's so much that you can do within a day and even structuring yourself into this schedule will be much more conducive to you to really show how much you love yourself. So the first thing you need to do is overwhelming. So let's break this up in a way where it's not too overwhelming and you can do this and it won't take up a lot of your time because right now we are in quarantine. But when quarantine is lifted and if you're in one of those states where it has been lifted, the first thing that we want to um, think about is how were we living our life before? So this has given us so much time to think about how we can change a lot of things in our lifestyle, things that maybe we didn't like, things that we weren't proud of, um, things that we maybe ought to say, I wish I would have did this, or I wish I should do this, or if only I had more time. So now you do have more time. And don't allow yourself to go back to the old you. Become a newer version of you. So this is how we're going to start right now. So the first thing is break up in bite-sized pieces. The first thing is break up in bite-sized pieces in little chunks how you spend your time for yourself and exactly what you do for yourself. You know, I, I hate to use the word time in conjunction with self-love and loving yourself because there really is no amount of time that um, when it comes to your life, there is no time limits on the value you put on yourself. We have been so conditioned to think about time in terms of, you know, doing, having a schedule from A to Z, especially in the United States. We are so governed by time that we can't even look at, we can't look at any other things. And if you live in an urban city, your life, it just seems like time is one thing that you're always, when it comes to time, it seems like, it seems as if we're always losing time. 
So we want to stop that habit, we want to break that habit up. So this video is not about scheduling time. This video is about loving yourself and giving yourself self-love. So there are three lifestyle habits that you should aim to schedule in when it comes to showing yourself self-love and giving your, and loving yourself. And I like to call these Milan self-care menu tips. And the reason that I'm calling them a self-care menu tips because my life as a holistic health practitioner um, and, a personal sh and a personal chef is that menus is something that I'm always creating for my clients, whether it be self-care, uh, whether it be uh, dining in menu. So I'm always thinking about menu and food because I find that a lot of the women that I work with they enjoy dining, they enjoy eating out, they enjoy, you know, having their glass of wine. So, so that's why I'm using that word. When you go into a restaurant, there's always hors d'oeuvres. And when you start with hors d'oeuvres, hors d'oeuvres are something very quick, something very light, uh, something that is not designed to fill you up, right? Something that's just really just sort of a, a you know, tasted and... Um, just a quick taste on the tongue, something to give you a little bit of teaser before the main entree comes. So what is your, what is your hors d'oeuvre for your self-care menu? Well, let's think about something short and something quick. If you're working and you've been working the whole day, whether it be seeing clients, uh, holding staff meetings, uh, running projects, you know, working on company, pro uh, company business. So whatever you're doing, let's think about something that you can do during that window of while you're working. You can always get to take a break, go outside. And that's so simple, but this is what it, this is what it does to the brain. You know how when you're in the house and you're going, and you're in one room, let's say in your living room, and you think of something that you need to get out of the kitchen, or maybe you're looking for something in another room. By the time you get to the next room, you forget exactly why you were stepping out of the first room. <laughs> Have you ever had that happen to you? Well, what happens is your brain thinks that you're going to be doing another task. So, of course, you have to stay focused. So when it comes to you working all day and you step outside, you are allowing your brain to de-stress, alleviate any anxiety, anything that has been weighing on you or anything that you need to get away from just momentarily. So you're able to inhale, you're able to exhale, you're able to get a breather. Um, if someone upset you on your team, you know, maybe, a, or a client upset you, you're able to step away and to go back in with fresh eyes. So always find a way to step away and go outside. Number two, texting, FaceTime. You can all, it's so easy to get on, get on your phone and text someone really quick, whether a close friend, um, a family member, someone that you trust, someone that you can talk to, or maybe your coach. So that's something that you can do within about 10, 15 minutes. Because when you think about how long it takes us to eat hors d'oeuvres, maybe about 15 minutes, a little less maybe. Or you can even do something simple, something like um, placing eucalyptus oil on maybe clothes, um, on a piece of tissue or paper towel and put it close to your, your uh, heat source and allow that smell and allow that smell to heat up and just uh, just transcend throughout your room because one of the beautiful things about a eucalyptus oil is that it uplifts the spirits so that's what you can do with your hors d'oeuvres on your hors d'oeuvres part of the self-care menu the second one is called small plates so you know how on a small plate you can only get so much onto that small plate you can't fill it up so small small plates is something that's going to take a little bit extra time like painting your nails, which may take about 20 minutes, watching uh, maybe a YouTube video, like you're doing right now. Now let's look at the third part of our self-care menu, soul food. Soul food, and I, looked, I love to use the word soul food because a lot of Americans can identify with that. So soul food is something that's heavier, something that will sustain you, and something that will make a deeper impact. So let's look at something that would make a deeper act impact, something that would sustain you. Cooking delicious food. And if you don't know how to cook, then go on and check out one of my uh, latest videos, which I've included in the link. Taking a language class. 
Think about it, maybe a language that you've wanted to learn that you've never learned to speak. Um, take one of those. Definitely want to make sure that what we're doing is much more time consuming. But you have to think about what it is that you love. Do you love painting? Learning, taking up a paint class, taking a long bath. So it's something that, but these are things that you can easily do during the day or during the evening hours, something that will take a little bit more time for yourself. And I'm not saying a pedicure and manicure is not included in that because it definitely is because that would be something part of your soul food it's something that would take a little bit more time and if you enjoy shopping do some shopping great way to start to love yourself and to show self-love and to um which increases your confidence levels set up what you want to happen each day so what is it that you want to happen each day what is your intent what is your goal what is your objective and that means including these self-love tips on your calendar to improve your quality of life. Now the only rule, there are some rules to this, the only rule is these self-care lifestyle changes and self-love change tips, they must be something that you enjoy. Doing something that I enjoy or something that someone else enjoys, they won't make it sustainable for you. They won't make it something that you find yourself and see yourself, let it becoming a lifestyle habit for you. So you really want to make sure that whatever it is that you're doing, that you love it. And it may take a little while to figure out what it is exactly that you love. Just if you're not really sure, start trying several different things. Start trying other things that you can do. But as I said, make sure that it's something definitely tailored to you and for you. And even if you don't love it right now, look at it as boosting and building your repertoire of well-being for yourself because you have to admit some if you're watching this video that means that your well-being has probably been suffering maybe you haven't been giving yourself the attention that you need maybe you've had a lot of transitions in life that's affected um, how the love that you give yourself maybe sometimes we grew up in a household where we, we were never taught how to love ourselves we were never taught how to be nurturing because we, no one was nurturing to us. Or maybe you grew up in a household where you were with a spouse or uh, a partner who wasn't really that loving to you or who was abusive. And there are a lot of women who are in relationships that um, are not lifting them up, but in essence are pushing them down. So what did you think about this? What are some other self-care what are some other self-love tips that you can incorporate into your life under soul food, or under, under hors d'oeuvres, or even under small plates? So let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. If you've loved this video and you enjoyed the points, the takeaways from it, I want you to go on and click on the subscribe button so you'll come back for more when I'm done next time together.